Hello there, this is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I'm back with another video. Before I get started here, I just want to take a second to thank Wendell Wilson and Level One Techs. He's been extremely helpful and gracious in letting me use his hardware for this testing. And the information about his YouTube channel will be linked in the description. In this video, I've done something that you should not do in real life. I've installed SQL Server 2019 Standard Edition on a bare metal machine that has more than 24 physical cores. In this case, it's a one socket server with an AMD EPIC 7763 64 core processor. This processor has 64 physical cores and 128 logical cores. So that's the situation. I've installed Standard Edition and we're going to take a look at how to identify that this is a problem. And you can see right now that we have two NUMA nodes that show up in Task Manager. That's because this AMD processor in the BIOS for the machine that it's running on, we've enabled nodes per socket one, NPS one. So that's the setting that we're using right now. And that's what it looks like in Task Manager. And now in CPU Z, if we look at CPU Z, we will see that it's an AMD Epic 7763, 64 cores, 128 threads, and only one socket. And this machine has 256 gigs of RAM. So I've got a set of queries you can run to try to figure out if you've got a problem with this. So the first one, we're just going to pull back the version and addition information from SQL Server. And we'll figure out that we have SQL Server 2019 CU9, and it's running standard edition on Windows Server 2019. We know that that's a problem that we'll find out more information about later. The next thing we'll do is just double check what kind of processor we have, and then you can pull this back from SQL Server. So it's an Epic 7763 64-core processor. And then the first place you might find that you might have an issue here is by reading the SQL Server error log. And this only gets renewed when you restart SQL Server. If you just recycle the error log, this information won't be there. So when I run this, this is going to tell me that we have one socket, 64 cores per socket, 128 logical processors, but we're only using 48 logical processors. And that's because that's the license limit for standard edition. That's not good. And a lot of people might be running this way and not even realize it. But let's dive in a little bit deeper and see how bad the problem really is. So when I run this query, it shows me when I have NPS1 enabled on this processor, I end up seeing two memory nodes and two processor groups. And then SQL Server sees eight NUMA nodes here. And you can see that these first four are online and the second four are offline. And then making matters worse, we see that we have 16 CPUs, and these are threads, on this NUMA node, and only eight on the next one. And then 16 on this one, and only eight here, and then zero on all the rest of these here. It's unbalanced across all the different NUMA nodes and then the processor group that we have to work with here. So that's not a good thing. We wanna see if we can do anything about that. But let's look a little bit further and see what else we can find out from SQL Server. If we run this hardware information query, this is going to tell us that 128 logical CPUs that the operating system can see, but SQL Server is only using 48 of them. And we have 64 physical cores that you would have to get licenses for. And it's only one socket. And we have eight NUMA nodes that SQL Server can see and 256 gigs of RAM. And then scrolling over to the right, we can see that soft NUMA is enabled and lock pages and memory is also enabled. So that's what's happening from a hardware perspective for SQL Server. And we can also look at the error log and look for the node configuration for NUMA messages that will show up when you start SQL Server, not when you recycle the error log. And this is showing the information about uh, the CPU mask, and the node configuration information. And this is the default just when you install SQL Server, and I haven't made any changes at all. So now we know we have a problem, and how do we go about fixing it? Well, 
Just to review, when we run this query, it's going to outline what the problem is. We have eight NUMA nodes that SQL Server can see, and we only have 48 logical processors we're allowed to use on standard edition, and they're not balanced across the two processor groups, and they're not balanced across the NUMA nodes that it's using. So that's not good for performance. So what we're going to do is take a look and see how we can possibly fix that. So if you read the SQL Server documentation and find alter server configuration, one of the options in there is to set process affinity by NUMA node. So we could try doing this, see if we can balance those available logical cores across for the NUMA nodes that SQL Server can see. And if we run this command, we get an error saying that the affinity mask specified is greater than the number of CPUs supported or licensed on this edition of SQL Server. And that's critical. It's because of the standard edition licensing uh, problem. So that doesn't work. So how about if we try doing it this way, spreading across all eight NUMA nodes and see if that works. Well, when I run that, we get a different error message saying that NUMA node four is not available to the current instance. So it seems like maybe the licensing restriction is confused about the difference between NUMA nodes and sockets because standard edition has a limit of four sockets. So that's probably why we're getting that error message and that's not really correct. So trying to fix it by using set process affinity NUMA node is not going to work. So what we can do is we can say alter serve configuration set process affinity CPU and if we do that, you have to specify groups of CPU numbers, and the numbers tie to the threads. So we have 128 threads that the operating system can see, and we're only allowed to use 48 of them. And so you've got to do a little bit of math and try to figure out how to balance these. So it took me a little bit to figure this out, but here's one way to do it, to have 12 threads on one NUMA node, and then 12 threads on another and so on to use all 48 available threads. So when I run this command, what happens is it does not error out. And then if we take a look at what the final configuration was from running that command by running this, we'll see that now we have both processor groups online and individual NUMA nodes are still offline, but we've got 12 here and 12 there, and 12 there, and 12 there. So that's evenly balanced across the two processor groups. So that's probably better than we were before. But let's see if we can make this even better, or just another option. You could also try running it this way, to put six threads on every single NUMA node. So we have eight NUMA nodes that SQL Server can see, and six threads, you know, six times eight is 48. So let's try running this command and see if that works. So if we go back and check it by running this again, we will see that now we have six on every single NUMA node and every single NUMA node is online and both processor groups are online. So that's probably gonna be better, but that's something you might wanna test. And the real message here is you don't want to leave it in the default configuration. If somebody else made the mistake of installing standard edition on a, a physical machine that has more than 24 cores, you're going to have to go in and do something about it, or you're going to take a pretty major performance hit. So going back to this set of queries, if you want to switch this back to the default configuration, you can either do it with this command or with this command. So if I run this, and then go back and see how it is. Now it's back to that unbalanced configuration with everything on the first processor group. Just to be clear, all these demonstrations were performed on a one socket system with NPS1 and symmetrical multi-threading or SMT enabled. And that's why you see the numbers that you see. And there actually seems to be an issue with Windows Server where it incorrectly reports the number of NUMA nodes in Task Manager. So that makes some of this a little bit more confusing than one otherwise would be. 
This is Glenn Berry with Dr. DMV LLC, and I want to thank you for watching this video. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. And finally, if you want to see more content like this, please subscribe because that really helps the channel out.